Anyway, for this video, what we are going to do is we are going to look at how do we find the probability when we are given a probability distribution. For this example, what we have is a discrete probability distribution. Um, we are given the number of dogs per household in a neighborhood. The number of dogs ranged from zero dogs up to four dogs. And then the probability of that specific um, random variable or the number of dogs that they had is listed below it. So for example, 51.5% of the um, neighborhood had zero dogs, 37.8% had one dog. When you are given the distribution, you can answer specific questions about it. And so what we're going to look at is a couple different scenarios. These are usually the ones that are used. And for some of them, there are more than one way of getting to the answer. But this is a pretty easy way of finding probability. So what we're going to do is for the first one, the, we're going to find the probability that there is exactly one dog. So if I were to randomly select a household, we are looking for the probability that that household has exactly one dog. So for this, all we have to do is look at the chart. And the chart tells us that 37.8 or 0.378 um, of the households had, so if you wanted it as a decimal, you would leave it as 0.378, or you could say that 37.8% of the households have one dog. So if you were looking for the probability of randomly selecting a house that has exactly one dog, that you have a 37.8% probability of getting that exact outcome. For the second one, for fewer than two, on this one we're looking for the probability that x is less than two. Fewer than two does not include two, so that means that it's either the probability of zero or the probability of one. So we would just take the probability of zero plus the probability of one and add those together. So the probability that there are zero dogs is 0.515. And then we would add to it the probability of one dog, so 0.378. So if I add those together, I get 0.893. So 89.3% of the households um, in this particular neighborhood have fewer than two dogs. For the next one, we have more than one dog. So more than one dog. If I write this out in using notation, more than one would be x is greater than one. It does not include one. So x is greater than one does not include one. So we would look at our values. So this is really the probability of having two dogs plus the probability of having three dogs plus the probability of having four dogs. So we would just add all of the individual probabilities together. So I would take the 0.072 plus 0.031 plus 0.004. Um, we could have also done one minus the probability of the sum of these two. Um, so there is more than one way of getting this. You can use the complement rule on these as well. Um, so for this one, for having more than one dog, if I sum these, it adds up to be 0.107 or 10.7%. So 10%, you would have a probability of selecting a household that has more than one dog in this particular neighborhood um, would be 10.7%. For the next ones, I'm just going to scroll over just a little bit. Um, we're looking for the probability of at least one. At least one means that the very lowest that it can be is one. So it includes one. So it's very similar to the one that we just found. So what we could do is because we just found more, or sorry, at least one, I wrote the wrong sign. Let me fix that. At least means greater than or equal to. I just wrote the less than or equal to. Since we just found more than one, what we could do is take this probability, the 0 0.107, we already added those up, and we can just add it to the probability of one. So the 0.378 plus 0 0.107, which gives us 0.485. For this one, because we had to add four things together, it might be easier to use the complement rule 
Um, the complement rule just tells us that because we know that this is a probability distribution, that the sum of all of these values um, in a probability distribution is always one. So because there's only one outcome that does not fall in this criteria, we could do one minus 0.515 which also gives us 0.485. So either way, we get the same answer. So like I said, um, for a lot of these, there's multiple ways of completing this problem. For the last one, um, we're looking for the probability of having at most two. So at most two means less than or equal to. So x has to be less than or equal to 2. Um, at the very most, we want 2. So we would just take the probability of 1, which is 0.515, plus the probability of, sorry, the probability of 0 is 0.515, plus the probability of 1 is plus 0.378, plus 0 0.072. And this adds up to be 96.5% or 0 0.965. 0.965, whichever way you want to write it. Sometimes my brain just automatically does it as a percent, which is what I did. Um, so there's a 96.5% probability in this particular neighborhood of selecting a house at random that has at most two dogs. So for this, you just have to look carefully at what the probability is being asked. If it says exactly, that is just a PDF. That's just a probability distribution um, so you would just look at a single thing. The rest of these are called cumulative distributions because you're adding up or you're summing certain values. As always, thanks for watching.